But I wanted to give an alternative description. Yeah. The history of the world is people making claims to power based on fallacy. And through that, through those, uh, the belief in those fallacies, people who are uh, inherently, they look for things to do, they, they know that they have to produce something, and when they figure out how to be good at something, they find someone else who's good at something else, and they trade with each other. That's the natural state of things. Mm -hmm. When be, there's yeah. no external influence telling you that the guy you trade with is racist, and all of the accompanying degenerate mumbo-jumbo, what actually happens is the people at the top, it's a bloodline inherited sequence of individuals and very rarely does anybody from outside that circle ever penetrate into their ranks and what happens is is they go through they go through cycles of propagandizing the public in the name of cause a cause b whatever and if people are able, if they're left with a stable environment it doesn't even matter how stupid they are they will become more productive over time, but because of the fear instilled by by the elite, they're willing. They're they're always willing to give tribute to these people, believing that what they've accomplished on their own, despite their presence, will go away if they get rid of them. When all they, when all that's really there is an opportunity to, basically make a, a, a large marginal gain for everyone by getting rid of the people who are, are they're basically vampires. So what you're saying and is so, that the government just steals all the ideas from the people and it's well, the people government never that has actually creates. Yeah, they, they that's uh, name one thing the government creates, creates. the government takes the internet. Okay. But I what? didn't get to the, the end. internet. Then they get create the internet. Yes, Can't they you did. give that weight to them? But you're talking so about medical, British. or I suppose like your military, military, uh, military created the internet. Military, military part of the funding government. created a lot of inventions. Yes, yeah. I understand that through the private industry. Yes, well, they absorbed and kept secret the discoveries and technology that made it possible. And once the people who were actually smart enough to show them how to use it showed them how to use it, they turned it. They turned it into this demon web of bullshit, where essentially. Most of the internet is a bunch of bullshit bots and people run around with their stupid like numbers and subscriber numbers and pimp that to frickin' banks and advertisers and it's just, it is just a fake money train cesspool of bullshit. When's the last time you went onto the internet and actually found a meaningful answer to a question? Outside of a sports statistic. <laughs> You, you can't. To, you can't do yeah, it. You have to go digging for it now. But it's not that easy. I wanted to get back to the whole yeah, th this sorry. description of the yep. world stage. Yep. So the power elite, essentially all they do is they they absorb as much as they possibly can as the population becomes more productive. And then when their scheme for doing that absorption comes to a head... They create a crisis, make everybody in the general population think that some external thing has gone wrong, confidence goes in the toilet, everything drops to zero, but the people on top, they never lose. And then they just start the next campaign. They throw new labels on all the same scenarios, they generate fake words, they change the definitions of old words, and they just start anew with the same, it's, it's the exact same de uh, deception every time. It just takes on a different collect collection of adjectives, mm -hmm. and it targets a different group of people, but it's always the exact same thing. And then... You come to a Kim Potter, Sean Wright scenario, and the tragic Dante Wright, Dante okay, Wright yeah. not Sean Wright. Well, I don't know why the hell I got that in my head. Anyway, so you get to this scenario, and and what do we all faithfully do? We all bring up the details of the individual case mm -hmm. instead of realizing what the the elements of the scenario that are educational as far as the jet the big picture 
the timeless all places scenario that comes from understanding the principles that are guiding this. Now, this this cop, this Kim Potter, mm-hmm. she's a true believer, right? Because she became a police officer. She and she was she'd the been delusion, in the force for a long time yeah, too. The delusion, like a vet, I want to say, around like twenty years. I could look it up quick, but the, over ten. Uh, so the delusion that leads people to believe that we're little, that we're chocolate chips in a in a cookie, but the cookie is the actual thing, mm-hmm. right? This collectivist nonsense. It's the same set of logical fallacies that create the opportunity for her to be a cop in the first place. But then collective, every element of collectivism has to be cannibalistic so that those same set of ideas also come back around on the other end and turn her into a villain. It's like collectivism, yay. Equality, yay. Female cops, yay. Oh, the black kid got shot by the dumb woman cop who should have never been a cop. Yay! It's just... It, it, it's just so incredible to me how people's ignorance of anything that underlies the, these these stupid current event details, they have no idea. And if you asked them to explain it to you, they, they, they wouldn't have two words for you. They don't even know where to start. 